Hello, my name is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Bohm MIDI Translator Pro as a MIDI filter for Ableton Live. A similar procedure can be done with most digital audio workstations and other MIDI applications. You should consult your application documentation regarding setting up MIDI control surfaces for your specific application. In this configuration, Bohm MIDI Translator Pro is essentially a man in the middle for your control surface that you're using for live. In this demo, I'm using Novation Launch Control. Anything you send to live will first go through the MIDI Translator Pro from your controller before being received by live. Anything that live sends back to your control surface will also go through MIDI Translator Pro interface. In this configuration, you can set up filters or other conversion logic as needed to enhance the functionality that you may not have natively with your uh, control surface for your application. Here I'm setting up virtual mini ports uh, by going to the view menu settings and then go to virtual mini ports and you can see I've set up BMT1 as a short name for the virtual mini port. In addition, I've created input and output both from the BMT1 port and from the launch control device. And I've done the output as well from the BMT1 and the launch control device. Finally, I've set up routes uh, to show that uh, we have a, a route going both from the launch control to BMT1 and, launch con and from BMT1 back to launch control. Now I've set up live uh, by going to MIDI preferences and setting up the surfaces for both input and output on M uh, BMT1 uh, to go to and from Ableton. As you can see here, uh, when I press the uh, key on the input, uh, the translation is happening for note on and off on, on the note number nine. However, since I don't have translators for note 10 or 0A, the data is actually passing straight through. Since there's no translators yet set up from live back to the, uh, to the control surface, anything coming back from live will now be untouched. If you want the output of the control surface to echo back to itself, you could put a default route in for that as well. Uh, in that case, launch control output to launch control input. Uh, what comes out of the application will be application specific and you should have uh, to read the documentation. If it needs translating, you could put additional translators into Bohm MIDI Translator Pro for anything coming back from the application. Uh, this concludes the tutorial. Thanks for listening and for more information, please visit us at www.bohm.com. Thank you.